I'm Brittany Pearson here with the Mike Cap exclusive on Boss TV. I'm here with Mr. Lee Lun himself. How are you today? I'm blessed. Blessed and highly favored or just blessed? Uh, blessed, highly favored, and excellent. All right, that's awesome. All right, so I seen that you're on the cover of Young Dallas Magazine. How was that experience, especially you being from Houston? It was, it, man, to be honest, I'm actually still experiencing it. A lot of people have uh, got the opportunity to read the kind words that they said about me and it's it's uh, it's a marvelous thing to be recognized for the phenomenal talent that other people can see you know and uh just i'm just happy to be being myself you know and people are telling me how awesome i am as a person that's dope too shouts to young dallas all right young dallas okay so like just to feed off of your awesomeness i listened to your original song maybe and then i also heard some of your covers of other artists and i noticed i probably wrong but you have like a neo soul feel to you like um what brought that upon what what brought that style of tone of your voice funny you say that i actually should take those covers down because i don't think that's the best representation of who i am um musically i grew up listening to actually any genre any and every genre except for country but um it's artists like Bilal and Music Soul Child that I fell in love with at an early age and Stevie Wonder, you know, things like, artists like that, they, they're the ones who helped sculpt me. And then I can go over and listen to some Radiohead or Nirvana and just, I want to keep it open. So I'm a songwriter and uh, the stuff that I have on YouTube, which is cool that you found and seen is stuff that I was using as the tool to get up. And now it's more of a... Uh, the pen being exercised. All right, I got you. Now you're gonna start distributing more original stuff than covers. All right, I can't wait to listen to that. So you know that you're breaking into the music industry, and you know most of the time when people break into the music industry, they kind of stray away from who from who they are originally. So how would you remain humble, original, and all that extra good stuff? You know, one thing that uh, I've always had to do is cut the grass. My dad always calls me, no matter what. Like, I remember when I performed on BET, I remember when I did uh, uh, CW39 with um, Kai Meyer, mm -hmm. all of those shows. My dad will always, like, I hit him up the next day, be like, yo, man, I'm about to do this, I'm about to do that. And he'd be like, okay, well, uh, yeah, cool. Come to the house and cut the grass for me. And that's one of those things, it's like, I had to ask him, like, why do you always ask me to do this? And he said, you know, you have to keep your grass cut so you can stay grounded. And then you have to understand that if you keep a well manicured grass, you can be aware of the snakes. And that's a great thing to think of. It's a tool that I kept, so shouts to my dad, I appreciate you. Watch 
watched your maybe video. I'm pretty sure that you picked the person yourself, the female that played your eye, eye candy or whatever. So my thing is, I don't know if you heard of the game that's on Instagram and stuff, but I kind of twist it around. It's friend zone, ignore, or marry. Three women that I mentioned. Three influential women. So you got Beyonce, Houston's own, then you have Kim Kardashian West, and you have Paula Patton. Who would you ignore, friend zone, or marry? Um, uh, ignore is a harsh word. Ignore is a harsh word. I'll say somebody I'll hit back. Uh, Kim Kardashian, I'd hit her back. We probably hang out on the weekends, and uh, I'll make sure Kanye is present. Um, Beyonce, I'd friend zone. Uh, I think Jay's doing his own thing, and I, in, in order for me to build my own legacy, I gotta find my own. And uh, Paula Patton, I think she's a, that's, it's a lot of qualities in all three of these women, and especially Paula, because she grew a relationship with Robin Thicke. And I think that's a key thing that a lot of people are missing out on today, because they came from high school all the way up until now. So much love, and so much so that even when me being the Robin Thicke that I may be, if I make a mistake, I'll make a song, make an entire album about you because of the true love that we really had, the covenant love, you know? And that's that's what I, 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 want, a, I want a woman that I could be with forever, not a woman that, that I'd have to race to the club, or a woman that I'd have to try to compete with because of society. I want a woman that I can love with everything in me, and she'll be able to receive that and love me back. All right, so since you said all of that, I know people are wondering now, is Mr. Lelon single? Uh, Lelon is looking for the right person to marry. All right, well, you heard it here first on Boss TV. This was a Mike Cap exclusive. I'm Brittany Pearson. Thank you, Mr. Lelon. Yeah, appreciate it. Hey, shout out to the girls in the back walking up. I appreciate it. Yeah, we're doing an interview. What's up, girl?